Hi and welcome to another video here on Tech Tuesday. As you know, these we take a look at game peripherals or other gaming technologies, and today we're taking a look at the EVGA 1060 6 gigabyte overclock version here for mining ether. If you want to see the hardware that I'm running this 1060 on and how I built it and what components I'm using, check out this video above. That'll point you to my video explaining everything and how I built it, um, and I'll go through it all. And I'm going to show you the ether mine rate you can get with certain overclocks and what power consumption it will use. To give you an idea. So on GPU Z here, it shows you what the driver version is, which is the latest one, 3.87. You can see it's the 6 gig version, it's using the DDR5, it's the Macron RAM. We're going to be using the Precision software here, uh, EVJ Precision Overclocking software, and this is the one we're going to start with. So on standard, this was using about 31 watts without any GPU activity. Okay, so now we're up and running a profile of 50 power. It's running 102 watts here or thereabouts. Getting between 16, 17, maybe some low 15 there. A mega hash, a declocked GPU core to minus 200 and the memory set to plus 700. It's not going to change. The core clock will change later on. I'm going to basically increase the voltage and show you what kind of wattage it's going to be using. Fan profile is going to set on auto. You could tweak this yourself. I'm just leaving it on auto here. Get it going. So let me step through these profiles. Then I'll come back and I'll show which profile I'm using. Then we can let you further comments. Okay, so we tweak the profile again here. We're on 60% power, and the wattage here is 116. And you can see we've got quite a decent increase here in the mega hash. It's around 18, 19, some potential 20s here. So that's not a bad level really to be at. Power draw is still quite low, and you're getting a reasonable hash rate. You probably get an average of 19 to 20 out of it here. Obviously, quite a low power consumption. So moving up to the next level, we've got 70% power. Everything else is the same. And we're getting between 20s here and 19s with 18s and 127 watts of power is being used. But we're starting to get high into the kind of early 20s, so you're probably going to get 18 to 20 mega hash on this one. Okay, so the power is on 80%. We're drawing 132 watts here of power. We're starting to get some 21s, late 20s here. So you're going to get definitely between 20 and 21 here, probably an extra mega hash, an extra few watts. There's not much difference between. 60% and 80% here, power. The main difference is the voltage, how much power you're going to draw. So again, you can see 20, 20, 20 is probably a little bit lower here. We're drawing 90% power this time. That's what it's allowing to have. It's 134 watts. To be fair, you're probably better using 80% here. We've got 21. There's not many of them. So it's very, very similar. It's going to be marginal on the gain here. I think the mega hash, this is where it starts to change when you start to move up a little bit. Okay, so now we're on 100%. Everything else is the same. The mega hash is not particularly different here. You're looking 2018s, I think, and still 80% was probably the benefit here. The power draw here is 147 watts. It's drawing a lot more power. We are getting some good 20s here, but it's something to consider. So let's max it out here, 116%, and see what we can get so we can get any more out of it. Okay, so here we're getting 116 percent power. It's going to use all the power it can gain. And again, we're 147 watts. So this seems to be the maximum power it's going to draw. And the mega hash is still the same around early 20s. Also, we're doing this for the 1070, so keep an eye out. I'll be posting that for the MSI and for the EVGA for the Win 2. Let me know if you want me to do any other GPUs, and I'll post them up as well for me. Okay, so what we've done here is we've kept the power at 116%, and we've reset the GPU clock here to zero, which is on default. And the power draw is 151 watts. Again, three more watts here, power draw. We're getting some 22s here, and some 21s. So it's certainly a lot higher. You're probably going to get 22 average out of this, 21 and a half, something like that mega hash. This is pushing it probably to its limit. We're going to try one more, with a bit more GPU clock and see if we can get a bit better. Okay, so here we are. The power draws 153 watts. We've got 116% power. So we're giving it the full power still here, as much as it can take. I've put the clock to 100 and that's about as stable as I can get it here. We're getting some 21s, 23s, 22s. You might get 22.5 mega hash here average out of this. But you are going to be pushing it to its limit and the power draw is quite high so the choice is going to be yours i'm going to show you what profile now i run at and this is why i'm leaving it because i get a decent power draw and i get a decent mega hash i think for me at the moment this is best value for money or best bang per mega hash versus power if you want to call it that put in the comments what you think and what i should tweak interested to see what your ideas would be as well and i'll certainly uh, take a look at the comments so this is what i've settled on i'm sitting on 85 percent power plus 100 on the gpu clock plus 700 on the memory and I'm drawing about 137 watts and I'm getting between 20, early 20s to mid 20, 22, 23 sometimes. Seems to be a good little balance here of what I can get. I'm probably going to average about 21.5 mega hash, maybe 22 if I'm lucky. 
that seems to push the card as much as it will be able to take here. You could lower the GPU clock down to zero, so I minus 200, and you start to drop into the low 20s, early 19s here. As you can see, the power drops down to 133 watts. There's not much in it, you're saving a few watts here, and you're probably losing one mega hash, give or take, looking at this specs here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave it in the comments about anything else you want me to do, and I'll catch you again later, and keep your eyes out for the events. Bye-bye.